Well, hello and welcome back. We are cruising along in our little shortener application doing a series of questions and answers basically to get you through uh, some key things. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk a little bit about, uh, we've got ourselves, so that we've got an API that we're calling from Python. We are now gonna talk a little bit about get and post and deletes and request types a little bit, uh, really more uh, the get in the post and just sort of how these things work and what you should be doing to actually craft like a, a decent API call. Because what we've got right here just kicks out, if you see it, when we do calls, it just kicks out some nice big texty thing, which is really not generally useful. I mean, you can see it here is it's just here's your text. What we really want is something that is more workable because our raw notice is the same as our pretty. And we're JSONifying stuff when we don't really have a need to. So what you normally want to do is you're going to have something in your message that you're going to send back. So we're going to change up our API this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually start working on this a little bit. So instead of, uh, let's see, do I want to call that? I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll come back to this another time because I know I was going to hook the whole thing up, but uh, I could probably do that pretty quick. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, I can probably do this. So let's try this. So here's what we're going to do. So we've got a little database set up. And we've got a couple calls. So we're going to go to Shorty. And over here, we're going to uh, import, or actually, how does it look? Uh, it is uh, from DB create. DB create, whoops, import. Uh, my database. I think that's what I want to do. Whoop. My database. There we go. So now what we're going to do here is we don't have to worry about our counter anymore. What we do want to do is we're going to actually let's do an init. And take all of that like this and so let's see we're gonna set up our database we don't need to create one uh, there's a database name we're gonna pull oh, import uh, let's do this we're gonna change this around a little bit So we're going to come in here and we're going to do this. Take that and we're going to come over here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to set up, we're doing a little bit of changes here, is we're going to come in and we're going to set up our database. Oop, wrong thing. We're going to get here. We're going to get his name. I think that's all we need here. We don't need to create a table. Uh, we don't need rows. Oh, we do want to steal one of those calls. Insert record links. Okay, so those are the ones we're going to need. So we need searches, and then we've got a connection that we don't need to worry about right now. Let's do this. So we're going to use its constructor, which means when we create this shortener, it's going to go through these things. We don't need it to go through these. So let's do that. And now what we want to do is, so navigate is going to be, it's going to do a retrieve link 
based on the number. So here, so he's going to do, um, let's do my DB. Uh, let's do this. And then we're going to do a mydb connect, which is a self, self.mydb connect. And then this is going to be self.mydb.retrieve link based on the IDX. And we're going to do it like that. And then we're going to do, we're going to do message. Well, we're going to do this. We'll do that afterwards. So we're going to do, uh, let's see, equals that. We're going to return the message, but the message is going to be and it's going to be status is status and data is whoops and data is result and this is going to be result there we go status equals success we're going to do this we're going to try that we're going to do this sort of simplify, but and I will walk through this in just a second, except if I can spell it right. And then here, status equals error. There's status, uh, status equals status, blah, 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 there we go, real life result. You probably don't like that. A variable annotation cannot be combined with tuple unpacking. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. We're going to find out in a second. Oh, it probably needs to be this. Maybe that's what it likes. Okay, let's try that. So, return link, retrieve link, uh, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So that gives us our link in the database. Let's see, is it going to complain? Uh, probably. Yeah, invalid status. So we need this to be, oh, because I did that wrong. There we go. Uh, and so let me go ahead and get this one done while I'm at it. We're gonna do basically the same thing. So here, when we retrieve new URL, um, our return value, so we need to insert a record link. And that's gonna be pretty easy because that's gonna be self dot, and then return value. What's that? Well, let's just do this. So it's gonna look about the same. that we're going to look about say we don't need to close or we'll return the message what we're going to try is this and he's instead going to be Oh, here it's looking for a code. That's right. So before we're going to give it a code. So let's go look back here at uh, DB creates when it does. Uh, where did we do that? Create database, create table, list tables, list rows, insert record links. Here we go. So we were going to give it a number. And let's do, 
let's do this. We're going to actually get a little bit funky here. So we're going to get uh, let's just do this. Uh, we're going to we're going to cheat for now. Uh, nah, no, we're not. Okay, I was going to, but let's we'll come back to this. So let's do uh, get next number. And this one's gonna be really simple because all we're gonna do is we're gonna let's see here, here, and we're gonna do select max ID plus one from links. And then um, we can just do this. And let's see, result, whoops. So here we're going to do, we can do, because before we did a fetch all, we saw this. Here we're going to do fex one. So uh, we don't need to commit. So we're going to do row equals fetch one. And then let's see, we're going to do ID equals, uh, let's do, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll call it result. Result equals zero here. The result equals negative one. We're going to print that. We're going to return the result. And this is going to be result. So it's going to be fetch one and it's going to be zero because we want the first row. Uh, it probably is going to get overwritten so we can get away with it, but we're going to let that go anyways. Okay, so that's going to be get next number. So when we go to shorty uh, here, we instead our counter. So we're going to do, uh, we're just going to call it xval equals self dot mydb dot get next number. And then here, the return value is just simply going to be the base plus that. But then we need to save it, uh, which I think we're going to be OK. So that's our return value. And so here we need to take, oh, this actually simplifies because now this is going to be the return value, which is the um, the URL, the short URL, and then the next thing is going to be the next val because that's what our code is. And then a one because, oh, because that was our user, so we don't have to worry about it. And then we have our result. Okay, boom. So now we have rewritten these things to be something a little more useful. Should run. Okay, so let's go look at these real quick. So if we go and do a post of this, Oh, and shorty status equals error. Oh, here we go. I forgot to put that there. Oh, which we also forgot uh, here. No, here. We want this to be. Oh, shoot. Shorty doesn't really need to do this because he's. We really want him to be on the API. Okay, my mistake. Uh, but let's do that anyways. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pass those through. So now uh, this is the so retrieve new new URL is the result, and then here result, and then here we're just going to dump the result. So now normally we're going to do this somewhere else. But we'll do these here because that'll just allow us to get that done. So now if we run this and we come here and run our post first, then, okay, data is three. Oops, we did not want that to be three. We wanted our AP. Um, when we add a link, Uh, let's see, insert record link, which means over at shorty, we didn't want it to be the return value. Oh yeah. 
self.base plus next val. Oh, data is, whoops, my bad. That needs to be return value. Because, yeah, so that's going to be successful. Insert record links doesn't give me anything. Oh, because that's the new, and we're going to call it, we'll do this. Um, uh, let's call that new ID. And that'll be result. Otherwise, result is zero. Let's do that for fun. Okay, so that is Shorty. Let's get him here. If we do that, I don't know what that is. Let's get rid of that. So now, if we run it, uh, so that was three. This is probably going to be something else. Okay, so four. So now if we take that, and see that's like the pretty version, raw. It's actually about the same. But now we're getting something that we can actually work with. We can do something with this on the other side of it. So shorty uh, get. And so if I do four, then he's going to send that back. And so now in my app, my caller, I can actually do something with this. So now my response, I'm going to get something, and I'm going to get my response.text. And let's go look at the same thing. Uh, so let's see. So what you already wish to use, let's use this big one. And so now, uh, Invalid literal for int. So what do we do here? Oh. Oops. I did that in reverse order. So I want this to be this guy. Wait, right? Yeah. Okay. And so now I can see that I've got data. And Let's see which short UL do you want to shorten. If I take this big one, now I've got that. But now I can take the same thing and let's go change it now so that when I do caller, let's say what he wants to do instead is he's going to do response.text. And he's going to be, so the shortened URL is actually uh, the data. So let's see how that works. Let's see if we do that now. We do that for short. Uh, is it not printing out what I wanted it to? Oh, yes. That's the problem. So now uh, let's not worry about shortening one. And let's see what you already wish to use. Oh, so this is because of the way it's set up. So data is, what was data? Data was two, I think. Data is one, okay. Uh, so it's this, just because of what we're doing. So if we do it this way, and we do it this way, let's see what that looks like. So now if we do it, it gives us an empty. Oh, we want zero. Let's try that. Whoop. Oh. Let's do this. Let's do response data. Uh, 
response object is not subscriptable. So we did not do what we wanted to with this. So let's take a look here. So we got that. That's our payload. Should be that. Um, our API is going to send back that. So our call. is that uh, let's see what did we miss here what was it complaining about it said it didn't like response object is not subscriptable so let's go look at response real quick uh, let's do that oh we need to do uh, where is it? So response dot data. Let's go see. Let's go look at him again. There we go. So that's response is two hundred. We go look here. Uh, I wonder if that is the wrong brackets that I wanted to use. No, I think so. Okay, my mistake. I was doing a dump to a string. I need to do a just sonify. So now, see something makes a little better sense. And then. Uh, where'd I go? Over here. So now if I do, oops, I don't want shorty, I want the caller. Uh, so if he does response, uh, well, let's do look at that first. If I look at that, uh, if I shorten, uh, number four. Okay, there's my response. I do response dot data, I think. Let's make sure I get this right. Uh, oops. Oops. Uh, it doesn't have that, so if I do, let's try a response. Well, let's do a text. Let's do that. Oh, dang it, I keep hitting the wrong key. Uh, okay, so there's the data. And if I do response text data, is that going to give me, I think that's going to give me what I want. Ah, there we go. Uh, nope, it must be an integer. Okay. So it's not getting that back out. One second. Okay, we have to actually do, this is where we want, um, let's do result equal json.loads. Uh, oop, am I in the right place? Oh, uh, eh, 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 that's not really where, let's sit this way. I want it here in the API, because I already have it. Uh, so I'm going to JSONify the result. Oh, and then the caller is going to need that. So he's going to need uh, import JSON. And then he's going to need, from the response, he's going to do result equals uh, JSON.loads. JSON, uh, the response dot text and then I can do the result whoop now I can do the result what did I call that data let's go look at that 
And I think we're going to see here. There we go. And so now we're actually pulling this. So we're putting a complex thing together that we can check for like, so here we can say um, if, oops, we don't want to put it there yet. So we're going to come back here and we could say if result, uh, what did we call that? We called it here, status. Usually we're going to do this from the API. We did this a little different, but if we take results status equals, let's say, not equal to success, then return status. There we go. Otherwise, we're going to return the result. So now we're going to get something like this. So if we go here and we give it something bogus, then it should... Oh, it's going to blow up. Uh, because we didn't put a try here. Wait. Uh, let's do this. Let's, whoop, let's just move him up. Uh, who is that? That is Shorty. So, oh, so we got to restart this. Start our API. Now, if we do the call and give it something useless, uh, let's see. Oh, result. Here we go, result equals negative one. We got to set that up too. So now let's try that one more time. And let's just give it something that's bogus. So now it's just going to tell us an error. So there you go. So now we've actually added a little bit of error checking to our API, which is something you definitely want to do. Uh, final thing is I did want to mention there's a difference between you have gets and posts and deletes and updates and things like that. Typically, as we're seeing here, is you use a get to actually get a value from, it's sort of like a list kind of thing. Post is usually going to be an update, which is what we're doing here. So when we're inserting our record, we're going to do retrieve new URL. Otherwise, if it's a get, which really should be uh, LF, if it's a get, then, well, we're going to do that. What we could do is we could say, whoop, we could do this is we could say, oh, if it's delete, then result equals, um, let's just say, uh, so it is deleted. And then we can come back down here and we can do else. Result equals uh, method not implemented. So now if we come in and we can do, uh, let's run this. And we're going to show you what some of these are. So if I go run this, and I come over here to my, let's change my get. But instead of a get, these are all these little guys we can do. So if I'm going to come in, so if I say delete uh, method not allowed. Oh, because I haven't turned it on here. So this actually is already going to get it to me. So if I do delete, but um, let me also do, oh, let's just pick another one. Uh, let's do, oh, uh, let's do a patch, which is usually going to be an update. So that would be a different one. So let's do that. So let's do those three or those four. And so now if we run it, if we do a get, we're good. If we do a delete, it's going to say, assume it's deleted. If we do a patch, it's going to get through, but it's going to say it's not implemented. And if we do, like, say, a purge, then it's going to blow up and it's going to say it's not allowed. So you've got a, quite a few things that are used here. And 
this is one of those that's probably best to sort of see what the you know the standards are, particularly for your um, your organization as far as development standards and such. But you will see these fairly often used. Um, at least uh, you'll see get post put uh, patch and delete. I see a lot. Um, the others uh, it sort of varies, but. It's good to know they're out there and to know that that's the difference is that you can use the same API endpoint and you can actually have several different functions working off of that as we're doing. So that gives you a, uh, a good dive into your gets, your posts and things like that. We have gotten a lot of functionality into our API and we'll come back next time and we'll continue on. So thanks a lot. Uh, we've got our post, get, delete request types, got those things done and uh, Get some more done next time. So go out there and have yourself a great day, and we will talk to you next time. Well, hello, this is Rob with Developanor, also known as Building Better Developers. Wanted to announce that we have school.developpreneur.com. Feel free to check it out if you like any of this information, any of the content that we've sent and you would like to see more. You can come out, you can enroll for free. We have free courses. We've got places for you to get better at just learning a technology or how to's. You can work on your business skills. We can help you with becoming a better developer as in coding and things like that. A lot of the stuff you've seen on YouTube, we also have out at school.developpreneur. We just have it in a little more of a uh, educational format and a way for you to track your progress as you move forward becoming a better developer.